some reason today I was expecting sunlight, maybe a nice calm weather. Nope, it's storming again, really windy. <laughs> I don't know how good the, the audio is going to be in today's vlog. It was actually pretty good in yesterday's vlog. This wind muff does, does wonders. So we're walking. I have a little route in mind. Basically, today I need to walk 12 kilometers so that I can level up in Pokemon Go. <laughs> I've been trying to do this leveled up thing for like two months. It's quite challenging. You have to walk 25 kilometers a week for eight weeks. And I've done seven. <laughs> And this week I've only walked like 14 kilometers, so or 13 kilometers. So I have to do another 12 today because it resets tomorrow. I know I'd like to level up. I've been grinding this game for like four years or something. It's pretty crazy. I'm, I'm still not the highest level. It's such a grind. I don't put that many hours in, but I just enjoy the walking feature. And it gets me outside, especially in winter. So it's very useful. So come join me. We're going to go on a very windy walk, 12 kilometer walk. We're going to try and do it as fast as we can because it's quite intense outside today. Got an abandoned house here. Don't know anything about it. It's so old. Check it out. Two large rooms. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what that was? All right, secret route path. There it is. You wouldn't even notice it if you're driving by. Got your bus. I'm out of breath. He made me run up the hill. <laughs> Go on then. Jump. You can do it. Come on, ladder climber. <laughs> you guys seem to really like it when Jasper's in the vlogs. I try to get him out. He's um he's often busy. He's with my dad most of the time. So I bring him out whenever I can. It's not cold, like I'm really sweaty now. I'm overdressed entirely. Um but <sighs> my nose keeps sniffling and it's so frustrating. Like in yesterday's vlog I was Wiping my nose like every few minutes or every few seconds because the wind just like blows all the snot out of me and every time I blow it, just more more accumulates. I don't understand. I don't understand my body. Why does my body leak? <laughs> okay, try to imagine this. This area is full of ferns. When you're walking through, there's ferns on this side, ferns on that side. A little river down there. It's hard to imagine how nice it is in winter, but uh I promise it's very nice, very green. Like, these are the ferns, they're still there. They just need to recycle themselves and get some sunlight. It's strange though. Like this is January such like a, a skeleton month. Everything is just the skeleton of what it was or the shell of what it was. I mean the trees still look great. Ah, some rope strings. Nice. Are they good? Let's find out. Oh, I like that. Branch is touching the ground. Are they good rope strings? <sighs> all right, all right, they work. They work. Yee. They're made for very small people, though. It's very uncomfortable. Oh no, he's gonna swim. Oh no. <sighs> it's too low to the ground. <sighs> Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making myself dizzy. Oh no. Oh no. I'm dizzy. Oh no. It needs to stop. Oh no. I'm just spinning. 
Jess was having fun. I don't know why he's having so much fun. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's go fast. Are you wet already? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this spot's so picturesque in summer. I used to love coming down here on edibles. Ah, oh, so nice. I do miss edibles, flipping heck. It's so much fun on them. It's just, it gets to a point where I'm doing it alone too often, and then I use weed as a friend instead of as a tool or a healer. I'm using it as a friend because I don't have anybody. So I think the times that I've balanced weed the healthiest have been in California where I had friends to get high with and that stopped me getting high every day because I didn't use it as a friend. I used it in combination with hanging out with my friends and doing fun stuff. Um, but when I've been in the UK doing edibles, I've just been doing it on my own, you know? And that's when it gets a problem. Same with Spain, I was getting high just every day. Because I only had my roommate, I didn't have anybody else around. For saying I missed the stuff, but I can't, I can't do it to myself. I can't touch it again for at least a year, just because a year is a nice number. If I ever write a book about my life, I can share the year of sobriety that I did at the end of my twenties. Just something cool, you know. Come on, Jazz. Maybe even after the year's up. Oh, if anyone doesn't know, I've been sober for like. A while, <laughs> 200, 275 days, something crazy. I'm trying to do a year, and I'm nearly there. I've got three months left to go. Yeah, after the year is up, I might decide that I don't want to even touch weed anymore anyway, or any drugs. I might just be like, all right, I've done a year sober, why go back? Just depends, you know, like the psychedelics come to me when they need to. Right now, they don't need to come to me, so I'm not worried about it. Isn't it crazy that I'm just making such a big deal out of being sober from weed? But weed is like, very addictive. I don't think people realise. People might argue that weed is not addictive. But those people arguing probably smoke weed every day. <laughs> That's the thing with addictions, like, any addiction will trick you into thinking you're not addicted to it. Until you take a step back and look at it properly for what it is. Like, how much do you consume? Is it daily? I think if someone does anything daily, it's an addiction or a habit. But then if it's like negatively impacting them, it's an addiction, I think. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe it's a bad definition. Because you can be addicted to exercise, do it every day, but it's not a bad thing. So I think anything you do daily, oh man, is it routine or is it addiction? I don't know, that's, that's, that's hard to define. It's both, right? Is breakfast an addiction for me? Because I eat that every day. Having said that, I didn't actually eat today. I just went out. I didn't want to waste like the daylight hours that I have. It's something weird, right? I set an alarm. I don't. I never do that, but I set an alarm for like 11 to stop me from oversleeping. And I heard the alarm going off in my dream and I'm just accepting it. I'm like listening to the music, continuing my dream, like doop -a doop -a doop <laughs> Just ignoring the alarm, knowing full right that I'm supposed to react to the music. I'm supposed to get up. But no, I just slept through it <laughs> for about an hour and a half. It was nice. <laughs> just wandering through my dream with some music going. Anyway, yeah, alarms don't really work for me. <laughs> There's a house here, which I believe is still abandoned. I saw somebody doing work to it about a year ago, and then they stopped. <laughs> they only did, did about work for about a week. Like, check it out, I'll show you the front of it. Someone's still trimming the hedges, but the whole house is still abandoned. It's a nice little cottage and a really nice spot. It is close to a road, so you do hear a lot of traffic. It's abandoned. No one's using it. Someone obviously owns it. But there's no one living there. That's what abandoned means. You own something, but not use it. It's abandoned. Lost to time. Even the houses that we live in will one day be abandoned. Like, that's such a crazy thought. I mean, the UK's been doing pretty well. We, we recycle houses for a long time, like three, four hundred years sometimes.
But eventually, those houses will crumble. As is everything else. And it'll all come crashing down. So this is the work they did to it. When I was when I was examining it, seeing like it was worth like purchasing or living here, um, somebody came and started doing work. They started tearing away the pebble dash on the outside of the building to, to reveal like the rock and show you how the house is actually made. But then that was it. That's why they did like half of the pebble dash and then left it. So the house is still there, still just just available. Honestly, out of curiosity. Oh gosh. Okay, it is locked. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they've, they've stripped the inside. It's just totally abandoned. It's a nice house. And a huge garden here too, like such a waste. Probably has all that land. I imagine. Yeah, I don't know man. Thing is, like, <clears throat> okay, so you know like Rona happened and apparently loads of people died, right? Does that not mean that there should be tens of thousands of properties on the market from dead people? Has that happened? Has anyone noticed? There should be like thousands of boats for sale, thousands of cars from people that have died. Like, yeah, I understand family will inherit stuff, but surely people died that didn't have any family. This is also part of the property. Where's it all gone? Is it, am I, am I tripping? Here's another house, very small. Abandoned also. Such a nice spot. The roof is fine, it's, it's livable. But I've never seen anyone. Yeah, nice, nice gate, bro. <laughs> Never seen anyone there doing anything with it. It's just abandoned. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been thinking about that kind of stuff a lot. Like, there should be some really cheap stuff on the market from dead people, but I haven't noticed anything. Yes. I don't know if Phew. I've definitely brought you guys here before. It's a spot that I like. Wow, so this is unusual. It hasn't rained in weeks and uh, you can tell, like look how, how shallow it is here. All the rocks are revealing themselves. It's still swimmable, but uh, usually the water comes up, up here. It just hasn't rained in that long. I'm always, I, I'm always wondering like, where does this water come from? It's kind of never ending. Where's it all coming from? Because it's not raining anywhere. So where, where does the water just appear from? Can anyone explain how rivers work? Because I don't understand. Uh, I do miss swimming in there, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it to myself. If I had a friend here, I would, dump, I would jump in. Just because I like to show off, but uh, I'm alone. <laughs> it's just going to be me shivering. Lovely spot. Wow. Wow, this is nice. I see a small waterfall over here, so I'm heading towards it. This is so mossy. If anyone out there is lacking inspiration, just find a local river and follow it up. Go upstream. You'll find some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spots. Nice. 
nice find. Very nice spot. Oh, there's a river on both sides. All right, I do love moss. It's probably my favorite thing. Moss and ferns. Give me that and I'm happy. I mean, palm trees are pretty great too. And cactuses. Cacti willy. Cacti pussy. So mossy. <laughs> oh, jeez. I get so many messages from people that say that they don't have any nature near where they live. <laughs> Seems so crazy to me. Uh, I feel like a lot of people are just not very good at looking. Because I've been to all kinds of climates around the world and I know that there's nature available for all of us. Like if you live in a big city, there are parks within the city. But you can also leave the city and realize, oh, we're not all stacked on top of each other. There's actually nature all around. I know some of you out there don't go into nature and that disappoints me. Like you watch my content, but you don't actually do the same stuff. Like it's, a, it's available for all of us to enjoy. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've been conditioned to be afraid of like the forests and being alone, but these are all inherited fears or programmed fears from like movies and stuff. You know how, how many movies involve people dying in the forest? That doesn't actually happen. Obviously, if you've got mountain lions and bears, then yeah, be careful. But those don't want to kill you. They're just existing, just like us. But for the most part, we live in places that are safe. The only danger to humans is other humans. So if you go to places where humans are not, then there's nothing to worry about. People get so afraid of just everything. I'm now starting to think that this walk is not going to be enough that I still have to walk further to get my 10, 15 kilometers in. For some reason I thought this would be long enough, but it's not gonna be. Ah, it's such a grind. I'm grinding foot miles <laughs> so that I can level up in a video game. It's so crazy. This world is weird. Everything's kind of fusing together. Don't even talk to me about VR. I'm not ready for that yet. I've been living in a virtual reality for years anyway. I just didn't put any stupid goggles on. <sighs> yep. Trying to beckon the dog. Where is he? He's missing out on all this moss. This is such a nice patch of woods to camp in. Moss. Oh yeah. So something I haven't brought up yet is that I would like to organize another hike. It's going to be just a, a one day hike and we can camp out for the night. But it'll be ha it'll have to be local to me so that I can keep posting the vlog. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, click on the link tree link down below. There's only one thing in the description of all these vlogs. And that's a link to all of my socials. So you see everything in one place. And in that links, link tree, there is a Discord. If you join the Discord, it's just, just, it's just a, a messaging app for large groups of people. You join that, there's a hiking group in our little Magic Mushies, M Magic Mushies Discord. And there we can discuss some sort of hike. 
we can do it on a weekend. We'll try and pick a weekend that has nice weather. And uh, yeah, we'll do like a, a nice hike, nothing too gnarly so that a lot of people can join in and then camp out for the night and then yeah, call it there because I'll have to edit and upload. I want to do a lot of them. So like maybe once every couple months or something, definitely towards summertime, I want to do loads of them, like get large groups together, do like a long distance hike. I actually came across some people. I never see people on this on this walk, but there was a few people back there. I would love to be in an area where there's absolutely no one around and I can do naked hikes. I did a couple in Spain, but it's just hard to find areas that no one is around. I would love to do it in the UK. I suppose you just have to risk being caught in the UK because it's such a small island. You don't really have any space to yourself. Even this really obscure walk along the river bed. I'm not actually alone. They seemed like nice people, but they didn't want to talk. Just said hello and then passed on. I'm realizing now that my job makes it so hard to actually make friends. <laughs> like, I know you guys are all my friends, but you're all so spread out across the planet. Actually making local friends, it's really hard with what I do because I'm always alone. I don't have time to go into these social events or whatever. I don't know how people meet. University. How do people meet? I don't have time for it. I'm grinding, you know. But I realise that that's probably why I'm so alone, is I'm not inserting myself in these places that I can meet people. <laughs> it's so fun filming this journey. Because who knows where I'll be in like a year's time, five years time, ten years time. What kind of person I will be, who will be around me. What kind of businesses I'll be running, like, it's all very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm here. This is where I'm at. Check it out. Some rain finally came in. Right as I ended the walk, some rain has come over. First time it's raining in like three weeks. <laughs> he's just gonna web on me. Oh, he's white. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Nice. Boing. He's not in there anymore. <laughs> Let's go. Suck it. Suck it. Let's go. We lose. Sucker! I stream for five hours again. I am so tired. Why do I do this to myself? <sighs> I ate food and it's made me really like lethargic, I think that's the word. And I just, I just want to fall asleep right here, right here in my chair. I just want to fall asleep. But I still have to edit today's video. And today's video is long. The longer I put it off, the later I go to bed. So I should probably do that. Do the thing. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow.